All right, guys, we finally got water going to this new pivot. All right, we're back out here in the field. Tuesday morning. I didn't do any uh, videos yesterday. It was too windy and nasty and kind of snowing. But as you can see, they are getting it going. We got one tower almost put up here. And we'll get the center pivot, which will be right here, up here shortly. And I will keep you posted. All right, got all the towers are put together. Hoses put together. The little goosenecks, these little uh, black things right here. Got all those put on yesterday. Got the hoses connected. Hopefully today they start working on getting the towers put up and the tires put on, the gearboxes. So it's going good. Everything looks pretty good. After they get the towers put up, then we will come back through here and put all of the nozzles on the bottom of the hoses here. It's coming along, got the wheels and tires up on every tower except for one, and we're going to run over there real quick and see just how they installed these. So they had to put the gearboxes on, and wheels on, drive lines on, center drives are good, all the wiring, so, and then uh, next they'll go through here and put all of the nozzles on the end of these hoses. So, it's coming along. Let's go check it out and watch them put this last tower up. Can I turn the water on here in about 10 minutes? <laughs> I'm gonna be like that annoying kid in the back seat. Are we there yet? <laughs> hey, are you, are you done yet? <laughs> Dad said he wants this water going right away. Let's speed this up a little.
This would probably be a lot easier if the camera guy wasn't in your way. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally got water going to this new pivot. And the wind was terrible, so I didn't do any filming of putting these nozzles on. Oop, I'm getting wet right there because we got a little bit of a problem. Right here is a gasket that appears to be no good. So we'll get that taken care of today, but I'm not going to shut it off. But I just put all these nozzles on the end of these hoses and I didn't film it because it was really, really windy. It's kind of actually calmed down a little bit now, but it was nasty earlier. And so I didn't get it filmed. But everything looks good. Water is coming out. This alfalfa is getting watered for the first time since last year and it needed it badly. So I'll give you a little lesson on how these work. Um, you can see that the wheels and tires, were they move and then they stop, then they move and then they stop. Everything works off of the outside tower so and we're we have all these connected to our phones or tablets or whatever we're using i use my phone a lot but i can get on my phone i go to the app and i set it on you know 10 percent 50 percent 20 percent whatever five percent whatever speed that we want a hundred percent means that the outside tower right here moves 100 percent of the time i think right now i've got it on seven percent so 7% of every minute that moves. And there it's moving now. And then this one follows. So there's micro switches on all the other towers right here. There's micro switches. So what happens is this tower moves if you have it on 10%. So 10% of every minute it moves 10% of the time. And then when this micro switch up here gets moved, then this tower moves, it turns on the motor, and so on and so forth. When that, when that micro switch here gets moved, then that one moves. And so dad is, he's in that red pickup, he's going up and down the towers, making sure that they are in line and straight. He's trying to get it as straight as we can possibly get it to run. If it gets crooked, so, I'll, I'll throw this in there. If you have a flat tire or you get something stuck or a motor goes out or something like that, then it will get crooked. Obviously the, the outside tower or the tower in front of it will move and that one won't move because it has a flat tire or a broken motor or a gearbox or a drive line or whatever. The problem is it can't move. So then it gets crooked. When it gets crooked or out of alignment, the micro switch will shut, shut it off and it kills the whole machine. And it's called a safety so it's safety we call it safety doubt it safety's out and that's how it works so there you have it thank you guys for watching see you next time